Can you make a living on honeybees? Hey everybody, what's up? David Burns, EAS Certified Master Beekeeper with you here today. Gonna talk about can you make any real cash as a beekeeper? Beekeepers fall into three categories. Full-time, part-time, or sideliners. Full-time beekeepers might be more of your commercial or professional beekeepers. And then you have your part-time beekeepers who may have another job, but they're still doing a lot of the things that commercial beekeepers do. And then you have your sideliners. Sideliners are people that have fewer hives, but they still make some money on the side, maybe selling their honeys, maybe they sell queens or bees. Now, where do hobbyists fit in? Hobbyists are beekeepers that really aren't trying to make money on their bees, they're just enjoying the hobby. I specifically want to talk about what if you do have a very crappy job or you lost your job? Can you make a living off bees? How would you go about it? Some of you are going to want to leave comments saying, I'm not interested in making money. It's all about fun for me. I don't care to make money. I understand that. Again, I want to talk to the people that are saying, what if I, I just want to imagine for a moment, could I ever become a full-time beekeeper? And if I wanted to go down that route, David, tell me what it would take and what it would be like because that's what i do i make my living off bees i transitioned from a couple of other careers and made beekeeping my main source of a livelihood so i want to talk about that with you well let me tell you first of all that you're not going to make the kind of money that most of you are probably wanting to make if you have a job in a, in a major company you have a lot of benefits you can move up you can make more money where you're working. You have insurance that's usually provided uh, by your employer. You have a lot of uh, investment opportunities, maybe 401, matching programs. You know, it's just those, those kind of jobs come with a lot of perks. When you go self-employed as a beekeeper, you got to find your own insurance, your own health insurance. You have to insure all of your the work that you do, the operation insurance uh, if you have other employees you've got to pay workman comp and that is not cheap at all it's just a lot of expenses by being self-employed now some people say yeah but being self-employed you can choose your hours where if you work for a company you got to go in work eight to five even, even longer yeah if you're self-employed uh you know it's it's kind of like a joke you can you only have to work uh half a day you can either choose the first 12 hours or the second 12 hours. <laughs> That's what it boils down to. And 12 hours is, sometimes is getting off early <laughs> when you're self-employed. Let's say that you're willing to put in the hard work. How are you going to be a full-time beekeeper and make a living? Maybe you have to. Maybe you've got to make a living because there's no other way for you to get income. The first thing you need to think of is a lot like any business you want to create today. You really need a lot of different streams of income. So don't just go into one single stream. Like don't get into beekeeping like I did and said, okay, I can become a beekeeper. And I can make all my money from honey sales. Well, that was my first motivation to become a beekeeper. I thought I could make a lot of money on honey. Boy, was I wrong. And that was very stressful. I mean, I was opening up hive after hive after hive, hoping that I could have a lot of honey because I needed to make a lot of money. And sometimes the honey just wasn't there. So if your income is only in one area and that area fails or lets you down, then you're not making money. So in beekeeping, the neat thing about beekeeping is it has the opportunity to formulate a lot of avenues of income. For example, yeah, you can sell your honey, you can sell your wax, propolis, even royal jelly, if you're really savvy on how to do that. But you can also venture into other areas like selling queens. You can start raising queens and that can be profitable for you. You can even start raising and selling nukes or even packages of bees. Many beekeepers trying to make a living full time also get into all the specialty items from beekeeping, like selling lip balm and making soap from beeswax, even selling the propolis and the pollen, using pollen traps and propolis traps. And like my last video, 
You could even remove hives from buildings and structures and make money that way. When you remove bees from, let's say, a house, you not only get to keep the bees, expanding your beekeeping operation, but you also hopefully get paid for removing those bees. So having those various avenues of income can give you a better chance of being able to make a living on beekeeping. Well, guess what? When you have that many avenues of income streams, each one of those avenues has to be cared for and worked and usually worked pretty hard. You want to make honey? You're going to have to work hard at it. You want to make queens? Hard work. Remove bees from homes? Hard work. So there's nothing about beekeeping that is easy. But just take notes of the things that I said. If you really want to do this, then make several streams of income that will help you sustain yourself if one of those starts to fail on you. People ask me, how do I start a beekeeping business? The best response I give them is, it's the same as starting any business at all. You have to follow the same tax codes. You have to follow the same laws as any business would. You have to incorporate or choose to be a self proprietor. You have to have tax attorneys. You have to have payroll attorneys. It is the same as any business. So it's not, a, it's not any difference at all. The only difference is you're, instead of selling widgets or gadgets or whatever, you're actually making your money through bees. But running the business means you have to be business savvy. The first thing you're going to have to do in making a living as a beekeeper is you're going to have to work awful hard. It's going to take a lot of hard work. But any business does. Starting a business is hard work. There are going to be long hours, a lot of heartache, and a lot of hard work. Now, if you're interested in going into a beekeeping business, let me share some ideas with you about how you could potentially lose a lot of money by making some mistakes. Number one, if you're not a well-experienced and knowledgeable beekeeper, and you're having trouble understanding how to keep your bees healthy and strong and keep making more colonies and more colonies, then you're going to lose money. You can't allow your livestock to die and still make money. If you want to produce queens, if you want to make nukes, if you want to make packages, you need lots of bees. So you have to be already well experienced and have a handle on keeping very healthy, rapidly growing colonies. Another way a lot of people lose money by trying to start beekeeping as a business, they go too much too soon. They start with five hives, they buy out a guy that has 50 hives, they buy out another guy that's a 500 hives. Before long, they're bragging that they have 1,500 hives. Well, that's probably too much too soon. Can you really manage 1,500 hives? Do you have the equipment to move around 1,500 hives, to harvest honey from 1,500 colonies? So if you get into it too much too soon, it will come back to bite you. Number three, another way to really lose money in beekeeping is that you can get sidetracked and fail to focus on what makes you the most profit. Some beekeepers will do certain parts of beekeeping because maybe they enjoy it, but they might be taking a loss at it. You have to honestly continue to evaluate your business, your beekeeping business, and ask yourself, am I making money? There are many things in beekeeping I don't do anymore in our business because we were taking a loss. One of them, I'll just give an example. When we first started, we were shipping bees, packages of bees all around the country. We lost the farm on that. When you're shipping bees, it's not uncommon for those packages to die in shipment, overheated trucks, etc. And we were having to replace packages right and left. It was a money pit. We finally just stopped doing that. Things like that, you have to start looking at where am I really losing money? I can't keep doing this. And you have to make decisions on how do I focus on what's helping me make money and not the things where I'm losing money. But a lot of beekeepers get so caught up in trying to do things that are uh, fun to them or things they enjoy. And then they don't really look at the accounting side and take a look and say, wow, I'm losing a lot of money on this part of my business. Unless you do that, then you're going to find that it's very frustrating. You might experience cash flow. You might experience money coming in, but you're still not making the profit 
to be a sustainable business. And lastly, beekeeping, a beekeeping business is gonna help you make a living keeping bees means that you're just gonna have to really work hard. Now you might be asking, well, David, you know, why are you doing it if it's that hard? How can you do it? Well, at the time when I started my beekeeping business, I was trying to get out of two different careers that I was managing. I just needed a change of life. <laughs> and so that was something that I enjoyed and my hobby kind of turned into a business. And I was uh, blessed to have a young family with me. My kids were hard workers. We were out, out in the country and as a family farm, uh, bees are livestock. And so it was a great experience. We homeschooled at the time. So, um, you know, I have six children, uh, all but one are grown and gone now, but they were hard workers in my beekeeping business. And so it was free labor. <laughs> when you're a farmer and you're trying to make a living, you just do what you have to do. But the real reason why I stayed with it is because to be honest with you, I was never smart enough to stop. I was never smart enough to get out of it. And you know, I was just working from one crisis to the next. Like I said, how do I get eight more packages up to Chicago to that customer? How am I gonna get all those nukes ready for that customer that's coming on Friday? How am I gonna get these queens shipped out? How am I gonna get these bees healthy? I was just constantly in a state of hard work. And I just felt like at the end of the day, I could keep my uh, family fed by running a bee business. So it just, I was just caught up into it. Now, don't get me wrong. I thoroughly loved it and love it. And I just over the years have figured out what I can do to not have to work so hard and still make a decent living. Now, by all means, let me, let me assure you Unless, you're, unless you are just a fantastic, professional, very large commercial beekeeper, I don't think there's really any real money in beekeeping. If you have a corporate job right now with a lot of fringe benefits to that, you're never gonna make that kind of money as a beekeeper. There's just no way. Now, I'm not trying to squash anybody's dream. If this is really your dream to become a full-time beekeeper and make a living on bees, I understand that and I say more power to you. Take these things that I'm telling you and understand what you're getting yourself into and as long as you know it up front, then fine. You know what to expect, you dive into it, you work hard and you make it happen. I'm really okay with that and you should be too. Don't let me discourage you or throw a wet rag in your face about your dream of becoming a full-time beekeeper. I did, I love it, and I still love it. But it can be really tough on a family. It can be tough, uh, it can be a tough job to have. Some beekeepers don't realize what it takes to be a beekeeper in the 21st century. I mean, it's about technology. You gotta be able to re uh, really run websites. Uh, you gotta be able to run online stores. Uh, you gotta be able to deal with a lot of technology today in beekeeping, actually, in running your business. Be careful not just to love beekeeping so much that you don't have any business skills, but you want to make it a full-time job. Yikes, watch out because you have to really be business savvy. And finally, one of the ways that you can lose a lot of money is not being willing to work really hard. Out there on rainy days, on very hot days, getting the job done. It means very, very hard work. Let me say though that I really love it. I enjoy beekeeping so much. And yes, I've made a business out of it. I'm not making a ton of money at all on beekeeping, but it's paying my bills. And, and I like that. I like turning my hobby into something where I can make a living as a farmer. And that's really what beekeepers are. Technically, our bees are livestock. And we as beekeepers are classified as farmers, agriculture. And if you have a family like I did, you know, you have a lot of family farm benefits. It's really a good deal. And, but again, it's really hard work if you want to do it. But if you're willing to do it, it can be kind of fun and it can be enjoyable. Let me remind you that coming up on Black Friday, I have a ton of online beekeeping courses that I would love to see you take. 
These are great classes. I talked about them in my last video that I made, and I hope you can really take advantage of 50% off on these online courses uh, coming up on Black Friday weekend. If you didn't see the last video that I made, it's about taking bees out of a tree. Some of you may have bees in your tree and you need to get these bees out. Check out this video. And also, if you are somebody that is thinking about getting into beekeeping, I think hobby beekeeping is the way to go. I don't know if I would want to enter into a beekeeping business again, but I would always want to keep bees. I think everybody should keep bees at least once as a hobby. It's a lot of fun. Check out this playlist here. This playlist is all about how to get started as a new beekeeper. This would be a lot of good videos for you to watch. And this video here, for those of you that are beekeepers, November tips, things that you can do in November, you'll enjoy this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.